Hey everyone, welcome back to The Underswell. I'm Derek Sabori and I'm so excited to be here with you today to share with you the three books that I make all of my sustainability students go through in this particular order. It, these are the three books that I really wanna make sure that you have access to, that you read, that you highlight, that you take lessons from, Ready to dive in? Let's go through them one by one. So these are the books that no matter what, whether you're an individual student, whether you're with me in the classroom, whether you're going through a leadership workshop or a brand cohort, these are the books that I'm going to suggest and even mandate that you read. And they're gonna go in this order. The first book, this one, The Responsible Company. It's by Yvonne Chouinard and Vincent Stanley. This is the follow-up to Yvonne Chouinard's book, Let My People Go Surfing. We all know about Patagonia. We know that Patagonia is sort of the North Star in our inspiration for all things sustainability and activism, right? We love what they do, we love how they do it. But what was the journey? How did they get there? What kind of leadership did it take and what were the commitments that it took? Well, it's all in here, right? This is the story and this in fact is the handbook for it. In fact, there's a really handy um, handbook at the very end, sort of a checklist of all things that you can do for every part of sustainability, environmental, social, community, all things that we're focused on for stakeholder engagement. It's all in here in a workbook format. But this is really sort of the story and the evolution of what they went through to get to the point of where they're at today. Patagonia didn't start off as a sustainability company, right? They started off making rock climbing hard goods and gear for rock climbing. They eventually started to move over to apparel. They realized that their apparel manufacturing was having an impact and that there were better ways they could do it. And they made a decision to change. That was strong leadership. That was from Yvonne Chouinard. This is that story, right? It's an easy read. It's a practical read. It's pragmatic. And it's easy to understand because this is just sort of business. We know the brand. We know the landscape. And it's easy to follow. This is a really light read, but it's very informative. It gives you a lot of good resources examples, and it's sort of a how-to book, how they did it, how you can do it as well with that handy checklist at the end. So, The Responsible Company, make sure you get this re more re current revised edition. There's another book that has another cover, but this is the most updated one. You can get it over at patagonia.com for sure, or probably anywhere else. I know they have an audible version as well, or an audio version, so you can uh, listen to it if you'd prefer that. I like having though the actual hard copy. So, look for it, The Responsible Company, Yvonne Chouinard and Vincent Stanley follow up to Let My People Go Surfing. It's a really great introductory book. It's an easy one to read to get you on your path to thinking about the triple bottom line. All right, let's look at book number two. This is the next one. This is a more advanced read. This is a slower read. This is a little more cumbersome. It's very philosophical. It's artfully written. It's intelligent. It's amazing. It's my favorite book. Mine's a little beat up here. This is called The Ecology of Commerce. It's written by Paul Hawken. Paul Hawken is a very, very influential author who has edited and created numerous books before and after this. This book though, I think is probably one of the most important ones that he wrote. This is the revised edition as well, so make sure you get this. This was written back in 1993 or 96 or something like that, but it reads like it was written today. So that's frustrating and genius at the same time, right? Because he's talking about restructuring the way that we do business, incentivizing um, those that do business well, de-incentivizing those that are polluting, adding green taxes, and all of the things that, are, that can be really disruptive and kind of an approach to what it will take and that we need to engage business in our sustainability journey to solve this crisis, right? And so this is the story about the triple bottom line. This book really helped bring that theory, even though that was um, John Elkington's phrase, he was a consultant for the sustainability group, but this book really helped bring this idea of the triple bottom line to life. And so we are still talking about all of these concepts today and really still trying to figure out how to make them a reality. It is wonderfully written. All of my pages are marked up, as you can see, because honestly, every paragraph, every sentence is one that you are going to want to cut out and put up on your wall. It's inspirational, it's motivational, it's thought provoking. Again, it's so poetic. So it takes a little bit longer to get through, I think. It's not that it's super scientific or hard to understand. It's just that it's so rich and it just sort of has you thinking, you know, kind of pondering on every word that he says. This is a really powerful book. And in fact, this was a really inspirational book for Ray Anderson and the story of Interface Carpets, if you're familiar with, with that. That's another good book. It's called The Mid-Course Correction. You can pick that one up as well. In fact, Ray Anderson, who is the founder and chair of Interface said, when I first read Paul Hawkins' The Ecology of Commerce in 1994, he changed my life, my worldview and my company, and all for the better. 
Read this updated edition with an open mind and gain a clearer understanding of the complex relationship between business and the natural environment. So there you go, The Ecology of Commerce by Paul Hawken. And you're gonna to wanna to check out Paul Hawken and everything else that he does. Any other talks that he does or books that he does. His most current book is Regeneration. These are focused on the climate crisis and climate solutions. And that was a follow-up to Project Drawdown, which is a great website. Lots of resources over there at Project Drawdown all specifically focused on solutions ranked in order of practicality and efficiency and efficacy to tackle the climate crisis. All right, so check out everything that Paul Hawken is doing. He's one of my favorites, very influential and definitely a sustainability guru for me. For me. All right, so the third book that I want you guys to read and finish out this, round off this trio of books is Cradle to Cradle. It's a book written by an architect and a chemist, William McDonough and Michael Bronghart. Both of these guys met, came together and realized that, hey, we should be doing, we should not be making toxic products that are made in a toxic way and that emit toxins while we're using them and then go in a landfill and emit more toxins. So they were all about cleaning up our products and focused on a circular economy. So this is really the book that really helped bring this idea of a circular economy out into the mainstream, right? So this was written in 2002. Um, so many years ago, they were ahead of their time because we are still trying to put emphasis on and talk about circularity. So it's a really, really powerful book that has all sorts of concepts on it in it. And what I really like about this book as well, so again, I've made all my markings in here. This book though is not made of paper. And so they really were trying to put into practice their theories here that, hey, even a book should be made differently. Everything should be made differently because this is when it's done, it's gonna go back into be polymerized and made into another book over and over and over. Um, and it's kind of really this idea of moving away from the linear economy, focusing on a circular economy. It's a really powerful book though. It's a design oriented book and you'll love it. And to me, this really caps off and, and wraps up all of the other content that was in the ecology of commerce and even in the responsible company, right? Even though this is the most current, these are the, the two oldest one. This is the oldest, this is the middle one. I like to read them in that order that I laid them out, right? So make sure you finish off with Cradle to Cradle. I would get the physical copies of all of these books. I know for sure that the responsible company, company, like I said, comes in the audio version. The Ecology of Commerce, I know comes in an ebook version, and I'm pretty sure the Cradle to Cradle book does as well. But if you wanna get that tactile feel and understand what they were talking about what they were, uh, when they're writing about this polymer, get the hard copy of this book. You can get it used and it's still um, really exciting. All of these are great books. They are foundational learning. You need them in sort of your mental library. This helps you set the basis for your understanding of sustainability, what we're talking about when we say sustainability, that it's this broader approach that encompasses all things, all parts of our value chain, and what it really means when we're talking about the triple bottom line or circularity or really being a responsible business. All right, so there you have it. I hope that helped. If you like this video, make sure that you click that big red button down below, subscribe to the channel so we can keep you updated on all things related to sustainability in your learning journey. And also, if you really wanna learn the 35 things that I think you need to know, that everybody should know if you're focused on sustainability in the apparel industry, go down and click the link there and get that free download over at the website so you can start on your journey. As you're reading these three books, you've got your language, you've got your topics, you've got, all, you've got it all coming together and you're on your journey to be a sustainability guru. All right, if you need any other help, let us know. Hope this video was helpful. Tell a friend, subscribe, click the link, get your download, and make sure that you read this trio of books because these are gonna set you on your path to deeper learning and deeper understanding. All right, see you later.